one of the, one of the things that we do here at Trio Network. Let me step on my soapbox for a minute. Um, one of the things I wanted to do when I was looking into it, and this is this goes along because we're kind of we're still at our two year anniversary stretch. Um, you know, I really wanted to put voices in the hands of regular everyday people. I wanted to I wanted to figure out how we could create a tool or a machine where, you know, what just because you don't have a political science degree doesn't mean you can't talk politics. Just because you're not a, you didn't go to sports journalism school doesn't mean you can't talk sports journalism. You know what I mean? Just because you're not some uh, a certified film critic doesn't mean you can't talk about movies or movies or an anime, you know, or something or what have you or music, um, you know. And so, and the, 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 what the machine has turned into has been so amazing. And coming across guys like Robbie and Carol and the Lady J's who we knew before and the Kataras and the Sith Lords and the Nakia Millers and and the Robert Trimes, just all these, all these people, 32 deep, folks. We are 32 deep. You know, models, promoters, um, you know, comedians. You know, it's it's really a lot. And when you think about all these voices that need to be heard and that we're providing that, that is what makes my day in a sense. You know what I mean? Like, that's really, like, my, you know, that's my thing. We could get on every day. Sports on the Hill could get on every day and just cover what was said on ESPN. I'd come on every day, every Tuesday night, and just cover something crazy about Trump. Her could come on and talk Kirk Cousins so he's blue in the face. You know what I mean? The United Wrestling Show could talk WWE instead. And, you know, a Friday night show could just talk about, you know, the next uh, whatever goofball anime is coming up that's popular. Um, you know what I mean? We could, we, could, we could be spinning, you know, no offense to anyone out there, we could be spinning Jay-Z, Beyonce, and Nas instead of all independent artists. But we all don't. All of us. Qatar could cover whatever the number one book is on the New York Best, Best Time seller list, just like everybody else. But we don't. And it's not that I say, hey, guys, I don't think we should cover mainstream stuff. We just all have the attitude that we know what needs to be done. 